friends, how are you today? I am doing well and I am excited to be here talking about eyeshadow quads. I love the basic nature of an eyeshadow quad. I mean, I can be one who enjoys pulling out a huge palette and saying, okay, what are we going to do today? We've got all these options. This is great. But also there is an element of comfort and control and just ease associated with an eyeshadow quad. You know, four shades, a well put together eyeshadow quad can absolutely be everything you need to put together a very finished, very complete look. And I guess that's the way I feel about all of my favorites in this video. I feel like they do satisfy me. You know, they don't leave me wanting more. They don't leave me needing to pull in something else to complete the look. They're great quality. Some are drugstore. A couple are high end, but I just felt compelled to talk about this. And I'm going to give you a tutorial on the eye look I have today using one of the favorite quads. And yeah, just let me know in the comments section, what are your favorite eyeshadow quads? Quads. I mean, trios are great too. There are also some nice like five and six color palettes. I was thinking maybe that should be a whole separate video, five and six color like mini palettes, I might call those. But the quad, to me, the quad is so back to basics and it really can, I think, accomplish everything if it's put together well. So let's get started. The first thing that might be coming into your mind is one of the hottest eyeshadow quads on the market these days, um, the e.l.f. Bite Size Quads. And I absolutely love one of the newer ones that they released called I Love You a latte. Now you're going to look at this and be like, eh, this is, this is basic. Like, let's take a snooze. This is nothing fantastic. But I mean, really, this creates a beautiful eye look. It truly creates the classic eye. You have everything from cream to dark brown, and then a couple shades in between that can be your transition, kind of blend it out, merge out from the darkness, or be all over the lid, or smudge on the lower lash line. Like, the pigmentation on these is great. I mean, you know if you've tried one of these, the quality of the bite size quads is really comparable to high end. Um, but I love that they threw out this one that is just so truly basic, and I, as as one who loves an all matte eye, this speaks to me. But also, just for anyone, I think it's good to have this basic little quad in your eyeshadow wardrobe. Again, the darkest shade, it really does show up true to color, and that can even act like some smudgy liner for you. But it's timeless, okay? It might look boring, but it's timeless, and it's really well executed here. So I love that one. And another bite size quad that I would like to mention is this one called Truffles. From the very beginning of the bite size quads, this one was really one that I liked. It has so much range going to a very dark shade here. So if you're into a smoky look, this is probably the quad that goes darker than anything that I'm going to mention, like smoky, sultry eye. We do have like maybe a brown that I see starting out in the crease, a deep brown, the black, and then this really pretty shiny kind of silver, but it's maybe a hint deeper than some other silvers I have seen. But compared to the I Love You A Latte, it goes like a whole step deeper, I feel. And really, can give you that dark, sultry, smoky eye. So those are probably my favorites from e.l.f. Now, speaking of the basic eye, if we really look at this, you might think, well, Em, those middle shades, they're kind of warm and I like to keep it cooler. Well, I will tell you a basic eye palette that has kind of grown on me is from the Give by Gwen Stefani line. And I have the whole tutorial using this. You can see it in action um, in my Gwen Stefani video, but you're looking at this and you're thinking, Em, <laughs> come on, this is not it. If you are a fair to light, light, medium, skin tone, this is the naturally sculpted, naturally shadowed eye, okay? This ends up being a neutral, basic, what will amount to a slightly warm brown eye, the Latte Quad there from e.l.f., but this one called Simple Kind of Life from Gwen's line, I mean, these are beautifully textured eye shadows, but you put them on, and some of these shades appear with a bit more intensity on the eyes, but when you see this color in the crease blending out into this, it's a really beautiful kind of natural looking thing happening on the eye. And this shade up here is kind of brightening on the lid. Like, it's beautiful. It's really well done for the classic simple look. That's exactly what it is. Naturally contoured, naturally shadowed. I know that's not everyone's cup of tea, but if you do want that very basic, very classic look, you can refer to that video to see it all come together, but I do think it's a beautiful quad, and for people who want that specific look, it's exactly what you need, and it keeps you from having to sift 
through an entire large palette to find those shades that give you that not too dark, but very naturally shadowed look. It truly has grown on me since I first got it. Another one that I got recently that is so pretty, and I know I tried some Flower Beauty quads um, back when the brand was brand new in Walmart, and I remembered saying like, these feel like high-end eyeshadows. These are really good. And since that time, I know they kind of changed up some shades a little bit, things are a little different. So I got this Petal Play quad in Black Iris, and for my cool eyeshadow fans, this is a stunning, stunning quad. It's so good. This shade down here is so unique. This like deep, dusty uh, gray with a little periwinkle in it. So beautiful. These shades here, you got something for the crease to start things out. Like it's just unexpectedly pretty. Um, this plum shimmer is so, so nice. I used it in a look the other day. I'll be able to pop up a picture and I just thought it was glamorous and pretty, but totally different from all the warm browns out there. So if you're a cool shadow lover, I think you owe it to yourself to try this uh, Flower Beauty Quad in Black Iris. It is so gorgeous and it looks different here in person than it did um, on Ulta's website, that's for sure. But I really love it and just some unique shades, a unique combination. I think it's truly like one of a kind. Cool shadow lovers absolutely need to try it. Okay, here's another one that I love. This is a great line of shadows if you can find them. The L'Oreal Color Riche. They're called Little Pocket Palettes, and this one called Boudoir Charm. I'm bringing this up because it can be a quad look. You know, you could use all these shades in a look, but they're shimmer in everything, and I also kind of see them as being potential one shadow looks, especially this bronzy color down here. But I have used this over the years so much, and it's a nice little beginner palette because it's easy to get a very blurred effect. Nothing here is matte. Everything has a little shimmer, and you're probably thinking, so does that mean these shades can work in the crease? You know, can I use them that way? And you absolutely can. Um, I'm picturing this like inner corner, this on the lid, blend out to some of this, you know, maybe in the outer crease area. This is your deepest color here where you're going to get the most contrast. So that could be the outer, outermost area. And then, I don't know, maybe you use some of this to blend it out a bit, but it's so soft and easy. And I believe I also identified this somewhere along the line as a dupe for a Charlotte Tilbury quad as well. But it's beautiful and glowing and easy, and the pigment on these is just great. So if you do run across these, any of the shades that you like, go for it. There's a pretty berry one. They even have a brighter like purple and a turquoise, but this would be a great basic and a great like beginner moment here. I also think the e.l.f. matte I Love You A Latte quad is a great beginner starting point. Now Clinique. Clinique eyeshadows, I love their duos. They have some great basic duos, and duos are, you know, a beautiful thing all in their own right. A two shadow look, it's gonna be simple, it's gonna be natural probably, depending on the shades in your duo, but a lot of the ones I really like give just this effortless, really easy look. Clinique has so many good ones. I will link to that video below if you're kind of on a roll with easy basic eyes now. I will link to the video where I sort out some of those, but I tried a quad not that long ago. This one's called Morning Java, and it's so nice. Um, now, we do have some shimmer in every shade, but it's workable shimmer, okay? We're not talking dusty, like can't build it up. It's totally fine. Like this is gonna appear like a deep plum. We've got this deep rust, a goldeny shade, and then this light kind of pearly color. The look is so pretty. I actually love seeing the gold and the plum come together. Maybe it's taking me back to my high school days and our colors were purple and gold, and I just like enjoy seeing those together again. But these are much more like murky than your bright like LSU purple and gold, okay? They just look so pretty side by side, and then a little bit of this rusty, kind of like burnt warm brown coming out of the crease. It's such a beautiful quad. I may need to do a tutorial with this one, like just to show you how to get the look, but yet I do feel like you can probably look at this and kind of get where to go, like maybe crease, lid, inner corner, and outer corner. That's the neat thing about quads, is they give us the ability to quickly visualize what we would do with the look. And then my last one, and this is the one that you're gonna get the little tutorial on, this is from ColourPop, and I will say they have a great eyeshadow formula, um, both in their larger palettes and their quads. The thing about it is, like, what quads are here to stay, because so many things come out in limited edition collections. So you maybe don't wanna fall in love with something and be like, oh, I'm 
gonna have to sort through eBay to find another one of these at some point. But Sorbet does appear to be one of those that they're carrying on Ulta's website. You can get it on ColourPop's website. They call this the Pressed Powder Palette. And I absolutely love this. My mauve berry family out there, like you're gonna need this. <laughs> this is so nice. The textures are absolutely beautiful. You might look at these and think, are those gonna be like Flake City up there? No, you will see in the tutorial, I easily apply those with a brush. I have maybe a little strategy to pressing them and kind of swiping them onto the lid, but they go on great. And I love the intensity out of this little guy right here. Starting out the look, um, you'll be surprised by the intensity out of that. And then it looks so pretty alongside this one too. So that is my look. Um, I feel like the tutorial will tell the story best. So I'll just go to that. Okay guys, so I'm going to do a little tutorial on the ColourPop Sorbet quad. For a quad, I feel like the shade choices matter so, so much, you know, if we're only going to have four shades. And I just really enjoy this one. So I'm going to go to this matte mauve right here and look at the intensity. This is really why I wanted to show this one because like, look how great that is. One little dip into my shade and this pretty depth. To me, that's deeper than I would have even thought, you know? So I love how effortless and how pretty that looks just kind of popped into the crease and maybe just above. I was so excited to do this video today, guys. I feel like I want to do more like specific product category videos kind of like this. I think sometimes being a YouTuber and, you know, I'm the one doing the videos, so I've got the whole like kind of library of work that I've done in my mind and I'll think about a certain topic and I'll be like, oh no, I've already done that. But it was maybe like five years ago that I did it, you know, like, and I, it would totally be worth redoing because the lineup of products in a certain brand might be totally different now, you know, but different topics will come to mind. And sometimes I literally have to put them into a YouTube search and put like Emily Noel eyeshadow quads and see when the last time was that I talked about something like this. Okay, so there's just that pretty mauve color just blended out. And then I'm going to take more of a bare brush. This is also Profusion. I don't pick it up as often. It's the ES3. And it's just like a fluffy grease brush. It's not pinched in at the top of the ferrule like the uh, one I normally use in my creases. But it's like you don't need a distinct highlight shade if you can just make sure that your transition-y color is just really nicely blended out. Then I'm loving this pretty shade right down here, this matte. And ColourPop has like on their own website quite a few quads and then you'll see quads come out in their limited collections. But this is one of the few that like you can actually find this all the time on Ulta's website, for example, and ColourPop's. Yeah, sometimes with these brands, it's hard to know like what can you count on? What's going to be around in a few months, you know? Look at this pretty matte berry. Love. And kind of flip the brush around. Make sure it hits that crease. And then you know me, I love going in with a smaller brush. This is my small pointed brush from Profusion. Same shade, just a little shadow on it. And then you can really shape the eye, get lift. We'll probably blend over that a little bit, just the outer edge, but see what I'm doing? Mm, pigment, ease. It's everything you want a quad to be. Love that. Okay, now we're just gonna go to the little blending brush we were using. And look how I'm blending, not getting all up in the crease again, because we've established that. I'm blending on the outside. You know, I don't want to really lessen my intensity. I just want to smooth this edge. Just right out in there. Perfect. Okay, now we've got two really pretty shimmers. It might be coming off kind of similar on camera, but this one's more pink and this one's more like an icy rose. I'm going to pick up some of the pink on a flat brush. And we're going to do a little bit of a swiping motion. I find these lay down just really nicely if you gently swipe your brush. Not like a huge swipe, but you see how I'm just giving like a little micro swipe there to the center of the lid with that. And really get the whole lid involved. Get a lot of that on. Pretty. Same thing on the other side. Add some to the brush. Little bitty swipes. I feel like I'm applying pressure a little bit to the lid. I'm really making sure 
that adheres. There could be just a hint of flakiness you might notice, like if you were to swatch that out with your finger. So give it a little press and a little swipe. So, so brightening and pretty. And then how about we hop over to this other shade that's just slightly lighter. And I'm just gonna use that right in the inner corner area, just up a little ways onto the lid. Get it right in here. If you like a berry eye, or if you're just always doing like bronze and brown and you wanna maybe branch out to something a little bit like this, what an easy way to go. I'm using just a little bit of the berry shadow with my small pointed brush from Profusion. And the first place you put down your brush is where the most color goes. Always remember that with eyeshadow. So right out in here, I'm getting the most shadow and then it just kind of diffuses as it goes inward, okay? And look, it only takes a little bit. We're just tapping in, one gentle tap, and then look, all that color runs right up to your outer corner and everything you did up above the eye. And now, just easing it right along. I'm gonna finish up this eye look with some mascara and a little eyeliner and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so here's the finished eye look. Yes, I did throw on a lash. Um, I believe this is one of the pairs from the So Wispy Curated Collection. Found in my downstairs bathroom. I'm just not sure which pair, but um, I just thought that would be a nice finishing touch. I used my NYX Epic Ink Liner for a little bit of a wing. I also did a light liner in the lower inner rim just to kind of widen the eye as well. Got my Cali Ray Come Hell or High Water Mascara on the lower lash line. And just as far as the rest of the look goes, I'm wearing my NARS Light Refresh reflecting foundation in Santa Fe. That's my foundation all over. Blush today is from my Patrick Ta palette and it's the um, shades called She's Baked. So the cream and the powder is well layered. Rather lightly, but they are both layered. I've got some highlight on from my Believe Beauty Highlighting Trio and then my lip is this ColourPop Glowing Lip in the shade Girl Please. So it has a really shiny finish, but it's very pigmented. I just thought it would play with the berry eye nicely. So my loves, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you got some good ideas on some great eyeshadow quads and I would love to hear your favorites in the comments section too. Again, it's the ability to get a product, glance at it, and have an idea of what you would do with it, you know? Without a lot of guesswork and wondering, you can just see like, okay, I think I see where the crease color is there, the dark shade, the mid-tones. Maybe you want all matte, maybe you like matte and shimmer mix, maybe you want all shimmer. I feel like we kind of had a little bit of everything in this video to share. And I apologize to my super colorful lovers because I realize many of these are like super everyday kind of basic and neutral color schemes in these quads but at the same time that's kind of what I think of going to a quad for. That's probably why I've ended up with a lot of these in my collection is because if I'm thinking quad I'm thinking basic easy simplified and when I'm thinking color you know I'm more likely to maybe pull that from an actual larger eyeshadow palette. But yeah, feel free to chime in in the comments section with your favorites and I will see you again very soon. I love you. Bye.